everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to look at a Paula Youngwick. Her name is Laurel and this is her right here. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're going to be looking at a young lady uh, named Laurel. She is part of the Euro line of Paula Young. And she, I have her in the rooted color royal silver, which happens to be the exact same color that I have on right now in this young lady, whose name is Sean. And I did a review of her, so look for that review elsewhere in my library, okay? But what we've got here is a beautiful little bob. It looks like she's got some curls. She almost reminds me of Diana and I did a review of Diana Paula Young um, in my library so look her up too but um, I'm really looking forward to this now she has a profile that's different it's not it's more of a tapered bob can you see that right here so she's got some sleek trimming in the back whereas this young lady has length and she's got more look more like a bob and she's unstructured and she is not she's very structured so let's go ahead and take a look at her here are her numbers and you can see over here the number one b happens to be the indicator of the black root the b does not stand for black but the number one does stand for black Okay, so let's go ahead. The other thing I want to make sure is that this young lady's name is Laurel. Now, they do have another wig, and her name is Lauren. And this is a picture of Lauren right here. So we don't want to confuse Lauren with Laurel, whom I'm going to show you right now. Alrighty, let's get her out of the box. Okay, here she is. I am going to take a brush and loosen up all her her fibers. She does have that little zigzag zigzag part and she is very smooth, very smooth. So let I'm anxious to try her. You know, I could see because they're so close in in um length that you could purchase this young lady as well as this one, trade them out off and on, and people would not realize. They might think you're just styling your hair different, but they, they may not realize that you have two different wigs. So now you can see because she's laying pretty flat, she's not responding to any fluffiness here. So we'll just shake her up and let's take a look at the um, cap construction. All righty. So we have a completely closed cap construction all the way from the crown to the front. And the front is just a standard one half inch velveteen band here, but everything else is closed. So um, I would have thought that that would have meant permatease, which it kind of does. Let's take a closer look at what this may look like. <laughs> I gotta get those hairs out of there. But you can't not, you cannot see the wefts on this young lady because um, it's covered completely by the permatease here. It looks like there's a, enough density on fibers right here so that it covers everything as well. Let's look at the rest of the cap, alrighty? So we have closed ear tabs with metal stays in them. And of course the fibers that are laying on, are stitched on the underside of the ear tabs. Make it look more natural because those fibers come out really close. They come out between the cap and your skin, so it looks that natural. We have a standard one half inch nape, and then we have Velcro adjusters on the right and left side of the nape so that you can tighten up or loosen your circumference. And then of course, all the stretchy wefts that come with our wig cap constructions these days. Alrighty, so I've already brushed her. I'm gonna shake her. And what I have on today, I think I already mentioned is Sean. Sean, no, this is Sean from um, Polly Young, and um, she's an unstructured kind of a bob, um, so she's meant to be messy, and I kind of like that. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and try, oh, and I also, I've also done reviews on Sean in my library, so go look her up. Let's go ahead and try on Lauren. 
Okay, here she is. Now, I just realized that I said, we're going to try on Lauren. No, this is Laurel. And so we want to make sure, make sure I get that, these names right. Okay, right out of the box. She is very smooth and sleek. She's like, oh my gosh, what? she could be a lot of fun too. Now, I do notice she's a little bit on the shiny side. Um, here again, you can rinse her in cold water before you even wear her, and that'll start to take some of the conditioner off. And it's the conditioner that makes it shiny. They put conditioner all over these wigs at the, at the factory to help sustain them through the shipping process, through the storage process in the warehouse while they sit there and wait to be purchased by you and me. So depending on how, how soon the, uh, somebody places an order for these wigs after they arrive at the, at the uh, factory, they may or may not, um, have evaporated the, 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 the conditioner may have evaporated on them. So anyway, let me do a quick, oh my gosh, this is a really cute little bob, isn't it? All right. So very trim in the back, a little bit like an A-line, right? Not a lot of movement in the back. But short here, covers the ears. You can use this. Boy, this, you could just go with this. Right, let's you. take a look at the picture and see if we can make her look like what she's meant to. All right. So this is what, oh, let's get all these ladies out of the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all righty. There she is. There she is. So she is styled being parted on the left and sweeping across the forehead. Now, this is sitting back. I'm going to bring that a little bit more forward because it does look like the bangs are supposed to be a little bit kind of like uh, Florence Henderson, right? <laughs> We've got this side swept bang coming across here. You know, Carol Brady, kind of a look, sweeping that across here. So I think that's that's being close to what it, the style is. And they also style it coming forward. So in order to get the look that we see in the catalog, you wanna make sure that you pull everything forward. So, I mean, it looks like it's very easy to do, you know, if that's the look that you want. All right. So she's sleek enough, you can piece out. Let's put this behind the ear, have a little bit of sideburns. Have that sticking out. How's that look? That looks kind of cool. Almost looks <laughs> Hobbit-like, I was gonna say. <laughs> I don't, no, it's not a Hobbit, but. <laughs> Okay, let's let's do a little bit on this side too. So we can get a little bit different look by <laughs> by being silly, right? <laughs> okay, so we can have the hair in front. Let's let's see if we can get her kind of maybe I'll I'll pull that back just a little bit. And all right. So oh my goodness, look at. It almost looks like a Bixie, doesn't it? We can get a little bit of height here, keep that trim in the back, and move this behind the ears. Oh yeah, I mean, you could make a pixie out of this almost, couldn't you? Well, that's, that's kind of nice to know. We can have some volume. We would have to probably tease that a little bit, but you know, just doing some finger combing and having it stand up, you could spray it with some hairspray to get it to stay. Uh, let's see what that looks like with a little bit of sideburn along with it being pixie-like. So that's very cute. You know, you could you could do that. It's a, it's a lot like taking a pixie wig and then just combing everything forward, which you have seen me do many times. So um, that's another way to, to look at that. Now, these, these wig caps or at least the part of this Euroline that has the dark rooting, um, for me and my hairline, it seems to work really well. So if you have a little bit of a, a darker shade, now my, um, even though I have salt and pepper, 
my, my widow's peak is a little bit more on the peppery side. So when that shows, um, it, it actually blends with the dark root. So if you have that similar situation or your bio hair is still naturally dark and you wanna wear one of these lighter shades of wigs, if you have a darker root, you can make it blend very, very easily. So, and create the illusion that it is definitely your hair. So here's another look. This is not gonna change that much. That's, that's as far as it's going to go. So it's gonna remain very neat and clean back there in that A-line or the back of the occipital area. But you can see the profile has a little bit of a bobbish look. Bobbish. <laughs> okay, so let's see, we, we got the height in the back. We slicked it, let's add some water. And that will add some dimension for sure. I mean, I can see wearing this wig like this all the time, or, you know, just adding that little bit of curvature around the front of the jawline, pull that out, make that. Now we do want to have our ear wing, ear, ear wings show, don't we? So maybe if we pull that away, and of course, you know, again, if your bio hair matches, great. If it doesn't, use some root cover up. So let's go ahead and get some water on this young lady. And oh my goodness, I didn't tell you about the dimensions. Well, let's do that. <laughs> Well, even like this, it looks really cute. See how much darker it looks? Um, because we're lifting all the white, the white highlights. And that, when you lift those away, what it reveals is the rooting that shows. Okay, let's take a look here. So we've got Laurel. Laurel um, has longer front layers and angled to create a shapely silhouette, which we already know. Very good, very nice silhouette. And so she is three ounces in weight. She has um, five and a half inch front and upper back, and then a six and a half inch on the top and crown and sides. So that's where we get this six and a half inches. It comes down um, right here. Yeah, it's probably this really front part here might be closer to seven. Um, it has a one and a half inch nape and it comes in all the rooted Euro colors. No other Paula Young colors, but just the rooted colors. So you do have some good choices. Let's see, here are the choices that you have. Let's take a look at those. All of these blondes right up here, there's, we've got Swedish blonde, Parisian blonde, Tuscany toast, Milano brown, Capri copper, and then Royal Silver. Now I have done reviews on wigs in many of these other colors uh, and um, they're all rooted and they're all made with the Whisper Light product. So very, very nice wigs. In fact, I have a Victoria, um, it, which is of the Euro line and she's in this color and I've had her for three years. She's a great, great wig. Okay, so you know what? We can add height and separation with adding water. And of course, you can add wig wax or you can add hairspray to keep that pieciness there. We can tease that to make that large, um, taller and make that bump stay there a little bit better. Side sweat bang, all the way across bang. And of course, you can trim these if you like. Okay, you can move the wig cap up a little bit that does change your profile a little bit. And I probably would encourage you not to do that if you can. Um, but you know, I think if you're going to think about cutting the bangs, always do this step first. It is going to make a difference and make your bangs shorter. And that way, and plus, you know, when, when we go to the salon and get our hair done, or we do our hair ourselves really uh, fresh after washing and all that, our bangs typically have a nice fluff to them and they, they arc out away from our face and create this, this arch here. So we want to replace that 
at any time we wear our wigs. And so I do this all the time with every one of my wigs that has bangs in it. Well, even if they don't have bangs, I do that because it allows that lift to come out. It makes the wig look like it's freshly styled. It looks like you, you really styled your hair. And, um, and it also creates that, that arc that lifts it out away from your forehead, which contains body oils and makeup and all of that collects on your wigs as well. And um, plus it makes you look like you're, um, you're fresh, uh, it, you're not tired. Because if you think about it, at the day, end of the day, our hair does kind of flatten out. It does stick to our head a little bit more and that will give us that, that look. So we don't really want to have that kind of look to start out the day with. We want a freshly coiffed, beautifully styled hairstyle, don't we? <laughs> anyway, so, well, okay, this is, this is Lauren. Yeah, Lauren, <laughs> Part, no, it's Laurel. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Laurel. Anyway, I like her. I mean, she's a great little, little wig, isn't she? If you don't want anything on the back of your neck, this is your girl, this is it. You can make sure that she looks a little more sleek, yeah. And of course, she, you can go ahead and part on either side. Now let's take a look at this, this look. Everything forward, okay, get those bangs kind of fluffed out, okay. A little more flat. Okay. Yeah, kind of cute, huh? A little less uh, foofly, more business-like maybe. Yep. So we could use this for work easily. Nothing falls in your face. It's great. We know we can put um, hair bands on her. Stick that back there a little bit and force that up a little bit. Let me... Okay, or you can just leave her kind of messy. Let's see, she was parted over here. Yeah, she had an extreme part on the left. So if we look at that, let's go back to that picture. There she is, extreme part on the left. So I'm gonna see if I can get some help with my brush. Okay, so don't be afraid. You can do these extreme parts on your own, on either side. Okay, here she is with that look, but a little bit more sleeked down. And of course, we've got that longer front side right here. We put that behind our ears, which gives us a little bit of fringe around the neck, right? A little bit different look. You can flatten that out, make it look more like Robin right? From House of Cards. Remember, remember her? Anyway, all kinds of fun we can do with her. But this is Lauren. <laughs> I got no gosh. Why do I keep calling her Lauren? Laurel. Laurel. I'm going to put it Laurel right across the top here. <laughs> anyway, and so I will put her link, and I'll make sure it's correct, down below in the description box if you want to connect with her and take a look at what the other colors that are available. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that if you're not a subscriber, that you will subscribe. Um, my business is growing and I certainly greatly appreciate all of you who take the time to watch my videos and uh, subscribe to my channel. Please hit the like button, the thumbs up and the bell button so that you will be notified of all of my videos that come out. All right, well, thank you so much. We will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.